everyone, can you hear me? <coughs> 14 people already, wow, I've only just come on. Having a quick drink. Hi, Vicky. <laughs> You're early today. Hi, Mandy. Yes, I'm okay, thank you. Yes, I am, to be honest. <laughs> Mandy. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. Sunny Cumbria. Wow, freezing here. Caroline's saying hearing and seeing. Great. Ellen, hi, Ashley. Are you okay? Oh, sorry. Hi, Ellen. Are you okay? Tanya's saying loud and clear. Did you all carry on with your world card making yesterday I didn't after I'd finished I was exhausted hi Angela you're welcome So I'm just waiting for people to jump in. Yes, sound is great, Charlotte's saying. Mandy G saying, I'm not surprised it was a marathon card making session. It was, wasn't it? It was fun though, I thoroughly enjoyed it. But do you know what? I think I put so much effort and attention in trying to get everything right for yesterday to make all the projects and everything. Hi Janita, you're not late, it's fine. Um, the, I've completely overlooked today. So I've not actually planned anything, but what I have got is the new fabric mat. So really, it's just gonna be a little bit of an experiment. So, you know, it, it may not be very long this live, I'm afraid. Because I, I sat thinking this morning, I'll show you in a minute, but I've, I've literally used the fabric mat once and I can show you, you can see on the mat what I've cut. But I, start, I sat thinking, what's the difference between the standard mat and the fabric mat? By touch, the fabric mat is a lot stickier. So I just thought I'd cut something on the fabric mat and then I've got some bits of, I think these are an old charm pack five inch squares I think these are people that sew or quilt will probably know what they are but I think they're called a charm pack so I thought I'd just try some simple shapes on those with those charm packs because the fabric is all the same and I'd just try the two different mats and see how they work out so let me just go back and see because I've, I've, as I'm talking I can see loads of things popping up in front of me yes I'm, I'm not surprised it was a marathon card making session so much fun Janita you're not late it's fine Sarah put no it turned into a baking day oh that sounds nice Barbara Hart is saying we'll send you some pictures later in the week yeah that's great thanks Barbara I'd love to see what you all were getting up to if anything I know some of you were just sat watching which was lovely I think we had over a hundred people over the two sessions so that's you know really good considering there was a break of a, an hour in the middle uh, Thea's saying hi everyone just beginning to cloud over again in South Derbyshire it's been rubbish hasn't it Thea it's been sunny for a, an hour or two then it goes dark then it goes back to being sunny and cold but it's proper cold today Vicky's saying I was full on gardening yesterday well that sounds nice at least you're getting out in the fresh air doesn't it Patty H is saying hello, loved the cards that you did yesterday. Yeah, they, they all turned out nice, didn't they? I, I loved them all, to be honest, as well. Charlotte's saying, actually, I meet via Zoom every Saturday, which meant I couldn't attend your session. Looking forward to watching the replays. Oh, it's fine, Charlotte, don't worry. They were both recorded. They're in the live playlist, and they're called part one and part two. Caroline's saying, I'm surprised you're here. <laughs> Well, to be honest, I did think about not coming, but I didn't want to let anybody down. So 
and as I say, because I've got nothing specific planned, but we'll, we'll do an experiment with these two mats and see how this goes. Charlotte's put in winging it is our thing. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you all encourage me. <laughs> Barbara Hart is saying, love your experiments. <laughs> well, it's a Sunday and Sundays mean something generally goes wrong, doesn't it? So, you know, uh, Mandy G saying, I love it when you work with fabric or vinyl. Well, I've actually got the vinyl blade as well, but I've just not even looked at that at all. So that'll be for something in the future. It's just on the side. It's I've opened it, I've looked at it and put it away. Um, hi Karen, are you okay? Lovely for you to be back with us again today. Lisa is saying hello everyone. Lisa Davis, I'm not sure if you're the same Lisa that messages me sometimes on Facebook. If you are, can you just tell me yes or no? Uh, Marcia is saying good morning everybody. Dawn Johnson is saying hi everybody a bit late today. Don't worry Dawn, I've not even started yet. Hi JD Cougar, experiments are good, learn a lot that way. Janita saying I love my mat. Alison is saying hi Ashley and everyone. Hi Alison, glad to see you here again today. Marcia is saying I haven't tried vinyl yet, too scared. Okay, vinyl is fine, you just need to take your time with it but it's fairly easy. And there are vinyl projects, Marcia, on the channel. So if you go and have a look, and in, when you get to my channel, there's a search box. Well, it's just like a magnifying glass, really. Um, and if you click vinyl in there, anything with vinyl in the title will call up, come up. So that may help you in the meantime, but we will try and do some more. Barbara's saying, sounds a good idea because I haven't got the proper mat. Don't know whether to buy one. <laughs> Okay, Lisa Davis, yes it is you, right, okay, well, you were chosen at random, Lisa, for the card sketch number five, so if you go to my blog, um, I've just got a little thank you package to send to you, it's just some cards, but if you go to the blog post for the card sketch number five, and if you can just contact me, Um, what's Wendy, somebody saying hi, that's fine. Wendy C saying, my standard mat wouldn't load right anymore. So I cut off the top registration mark strip, cut off the bottom and taped the registration strip with packing tape to the bottom. It works, had nothing to lose by experimenting. All right, okay. Wow, right, well, so with the DX or SDX machines you get a fabric blade and it's this gold coloured blade but just get my regular blade just put them down in the hope that you can see let's try and zoom in a little bit so the black top blade is your regular blade auto blade and this kind of tan goldy coloured one is what they call a thin fabric blade. So this is the one I'm going to be using today. So I'm not going to be using my regular normal cutting blade. Then let me just move the bits out of the way. So I'm not sure how well you'll see this, but let's try and just make a bit of room. So the purple mat is your normal standard mat with the purple strap along the bottom. And then the new fabric mat is this goldy tan color, which matches the blade. So we just, I'm gonna to have to zoom back out again, sorry. I'm getting some glare now. Going the wrong way. Okay, so you can see from the mat here that I've cut one design, okay, and it's, I'm just, just trying to find it. This is what I've cut from this mat. And that's the only thing that I've cut with this mat, with this blade. I think I might have used this blade before, but with the two together, as they work together, this is all I've cut so far. So I'm going to cut another one of these with this mat. And then I'm going to use 
this other fabric just because they're like five inch squares and I'm not having to stick big pieces of fabric all over the mat and I'm going to try and cut the same shape with the fabric blade and the fabric mat and the fabric blade and the standard mat and see what results we get. So let's just see what Cherie's saying. Hi everyone. Um, JD Cougar saying, you never let us down. You always bring something great. You are so creative. Thanks for your time and efforts. Are you wake up? You're welcome. Hi, Rachel. Hope you're okay. Doesn't matter. I've not really started yet. Thanks for the idea, Wendy. Glad it worked. Thank you. That means a lot. You're welcome, Lisa. Just message me through the blog. On my blog, at the top of the page, it says contact. Just message me, email me and give me your details and then I'll just send you it's just a little package of cards I've put together. Thank you, that means a lot. Uh, Wendy saying, glad to share. Karen saying, so Ashley, you can still use the standard blade for vinyl or do you have to buy a different one? Thank you. As far as I'm aware, Karen, you can use the standard blade for vinyl. That's what I've always used, but there's a new vinyl blade. But the the in the box, it also opens up some other options like being able to add weeding boxes and being able to break your design down into smaller chunks so that if you want to make bigger vinyl projects and that's about as much as I know at the moment because as I say I opened it looked at it and then put it away because I've just been concentrating so much on trying to do everything for yesterday that I've just not really looked at anything else right so let's just this is the fabric mat. Just bring this in a bit. Right, so I've got another piece of fabric which I'm just going to put, um, hang on, I want it that way, on this mat and smooth it down. Now, as I say, to the touch, if you touch this mat, it definitely feels a lot more sticky than a standard mat. And I think they've brought this mat out as a standalone mat so that you don't have to mess about putting that high tack support sheet on, that eventually you do have to scrape off and it, it is a workout to get it off. So I think this is meant to be, you know, instead of having to buy those sheets and stick them on an old mat. So I'm just going to come into the machine and find the pattern that I've already cut that I want to cut again. And it's in this section on my machine in here, which I don't often use, and it's AP E109. And the size that I cut it at I've just had to quickly measure it before I came on because I'd completely forgotten. I think it's six and a half inches, so I'm just going to make this six and a half inches and then we'll cut another one and then we'll do a bit of an experiment against the two mats. So I'm going to say OK, select that and set it on my mat. Load this fabric mat into the machine. Put my fabric blade in and I'm just going to do a background scan and say start so that I can position the pattern on this piece of fabric. JD Cougar is saying that is really pretty, really looks like flowers because of the red and green. I hate that I never use my brother scan and cut. I, I have the DX125. Okay, well you need to start using it. Wendy's saying this is cool, I didn't know about this mat. Patty H is saying the delight girl, you should bust it out. So many fun free projects in Canvas and Ashley's the best scan and cut teacher. Oh, thank you. Do need to say and love the fabric? Right, okay, so this pattern, I'm just gonna drag it 
onto this fabric and it's got drawn lines on this one which I think are meant to be for doing like free motion applique so actually I need my pen before my blade so let me just I'm just going to let's just flip you back I'm just going to get my water erasable pen and the reason I'm using that one is because I don't know how long this drawn design let me go come back to this is going to be on here before I do anything with it and if I use the air erasable the lines will probably disappear I'm not sure even sure that you can see the lines on this fabric so I'm just going to use this air erasable pen and draw the lines on the one that's loaded on the mat to flip you back So I'm going to take out the fabric blade, put in the pen, go to OK. Can you still see? Yeah, you can. Go to select and draw first of all and let it draw. It's just telling me I need to move the lever on the side of the machine and I'm just going to let it draw these lines. And then I can come back and see what you're saying. Um, Rachel's saying, yes, Patty, Ashley has taught me a lot. Mandy G is saying, so the fabric is naked, if you know what I mean. Yeah, nothing at all on this fabric, just plain, ordinary fabric with nothing ironed on the back, no starch, nothing at all. Alison's saying, not tried that yet. Vicky's saying, Mandy, do you mean it doesn't have fusible on the back? No, it has nothing on the back at all. Patty's saying, Wendy Sue, I have never used fabric on a card, but I have seen others do it. Yeah, I, Patty, I did a card oh, a couple of years ago, I think, with some fabric on it. It's on the channel somewhere. Right, so that's drawn the lines on here. And as I say, I think this is just so that you can kind of do some free motion quilting. I think that's what the drawn lines are meant to be for. So I'm just gonna take out the pen, put the lid on it, just so it doesn't dry up, and put the fabric blade in. And then say, okay, select and this time cut and let's see what happens I'm just going to try and keep my eye on it because I mean it cut the other one okay but you never know and then I'll come and catch up with your comments in a minute so you should be able to see this cutting now Okay, it seems to be doing okay, so I'll come back and catch your comments. Um, what, what's the colour band on the water erasable pen? It's blue. I'll show you in a minute. Mandy G is saying, yes, I sometimes free motion embroider fabric shapes onto cards. I just use an old needle. JD Coog is saying, that's a great idea. Use up small scrap. Right, let's flip you back, unload, bring this, I'm going to just turn this mat round so that I can get it in better. Um, who just asked me what colour the band was? Uh, Barbara, there you go, can you see it's the blue one? The other one, where's the, I just keep these separate from my other ones. So you've got blue and purple. The purple is the air erasable one, the one that will disappear within time. And like I say, because I don't know when I'm actually going to get round to doing anything with this, if I use the air erasable, by the time I come to, you know, sew the lines, the lines may have disappeared. But if I use the water erasable pen, they'll stay there. 
So that's the blue one. Okay. So where's my spatula? So let's just lift this up. Okay, so you can see, so this is just completely ordinary fabric, not stiffened, nothing ironed onto it, no fusible backing, nothing at all, okay? And you can see how it's, I'm not sure how well you'll see this, we'll try and hold it up. See if you can, you can't even see, can you see the draw lines? So it's drawn the lines on so that when, as I say, I want to do the sewing, they're there to follow, and it's perfectly cut it out. So let's just peel this up. There you go. Just put that on one side. Right, okay, so. Um, so JD Cook is saying, boy, it cuts fabric fast. Patty H, I see all those free projects in Canvas. I love watching Ashley's video. She's a wonderful teacher and I've learned a lot. You need to put it to use. I know I'm missing out. Yeah, you definitely are. Hi Gypsy, she's saying, miss the intro, so this is a new mat for fabric only. Yeah, definitely, it's the new, let me turn it back round. It's the gold coloured mat, it's for the SDX machine and it goes with the gold coloured fabric blade. I'm missing loads of comments, sorry. What do you have the speed on? Janita, it's just on the default speed within the SDX machine, so just all auto. Barbara's saying, thanks Ashley, use the air one by mistake on a card and guess what sentiments disappeared. Oh yeah, did, did you mention that the other week? I think you did, didn't you? Or somebody did, said they'd drawn the lines and then drawn a green tin and it had disappeared. And then somebody said, did you use the air erasable pen? <laughs> <laughs> which was quite funny. Um, sorry, I shouldn't laugh really, but it's the kind of thing I would probably have done. Hi, Marlene from Ontario, Canada. This is the first time joining you. I'm enjoying it very much. Oh, okay. Thanks, Marlene. It's just a bit of an experiment day today, that's all. Mandy G's saying that's impressive. JD Cougar's saying wow. Cherie's saying welcome, Marlene. Uh, we've got a nice from Dawn. You sounded like a magic cat just then, but then you are a magician with your machine. Um, Alison's saying, wow, very impressive. Janita's saying, love it. Vicky's saying, I'm near Winnipeg. Um, Gypsy's saying, thank you for this tutorial. Much appreciated. And Marlene is saying hi to everybody. Okay, so that was that one. So that's just another little design to go with the one I've already got. And I think what I'm going to do with these, I think I'm going to cut another one. So I've got three and I'm going to make... I'm going to do some applique and make another little mat to go under the machine and I'll probably give it away if it turns out. So watch this space on that one. Right, so I'm going to stick with this mat for now. I don't need my pens, so I'm going to put them away. Right, give me a shape, somebody. Tell me a basic shape. I'm going to try and cut a basic shape from one of these bits of cotton quilting fabric and then we're going to do the same shape on both mats and see what the results are. So Barbara's saying anyone new today can guarantee you will get hooked. Wendy Sue is saying I bought the fabric blade when I got my first machine but haven't used it because it seems so complicated. This mat will be a game changer for me. I think this mat will definitely be for people that that do fabric. Um, it will be interesting to see how long it lasts, but obviously I'm not a big fabric crafter, so mine will probably last longer. But you know, for anybody that cuts the plique or quilt shapes, it will be interesting to see how long this fabric mat does last. 
Um, Chris is saying, do you know if the mat or blade are available for the older models? As far as I'm aware, this mat is only available for the SDX machines. It's not available for the CM machines. Alison say, my mistake, Ashley, air eraser, air, air eraser pen on 16 birthday card. Oh, so it was Alison, okay. A heart, someone's saying. Right, okay, let's grab. I'll just put it in the middle of the mat. I'm obviously just trying to spread the you know use around. In fact, before I do that, let me just... find my tweezers and just try and pick up a few of these if I can get them a few of these loose fibers just get them I'm not going to clean them out or anything but just any of the loose fibers that I can pick up I've got a piece of sellotape stuck to my finger I don't know where that's come from right so we'll put this piece in the middle of the mat just to spread the wear and Ellen said a heart did she Barbara said a heart and Ellen said how about a heart so there you go that's what we'll do right let's flick you back I'm gonna put the fabric blade back in load this mat let's get rid of that I like gingerbread man idea. I've missed. Oh, Mandy G, gingerbread man, is there one? Okay, I don't know. I'll have a look. Let's do the heart first and see what happens. So we'll go to the home button, say okay. We'll go to basic shapes and we'll find the heart. There you go. And we'll leave it at its default size, set it on the mat, do a background scan so we know where this piece of fabric is. And then I'll just catch up with what you're saying again. So Creative Concept, concept Crafts, that's a, a long title for me to keep repeating, says, looks like the mat will need cleaning regularly with the fibres there. What is the advice to clean soap and water or non-alcohol baby wipes? Right, so... Let's just drag the heart onto there and we'll say OK and we'll start it cutting. Right, so for cleaning wise, it says after cutting the material, use a spatula to slowly peel off just the fabric. Make sure that you don't dig the spatula into the mat. So in other words, they don't want you digging it in and, and moving any um, of the adhesive. And then it says after cutting, carefully remove any fibres remaining on the cutting mat. And that's all it says. And I don't think it says anything anywhere else because I did read it. it. Doesn't say anything about cleaning. I think I would probably just use a non-alcohol free baby wipe like I do on my regular mats. I can't see in this leaflet that it says anything else about washing. But if I find anything, I will let you all know. This was the heart, so this was just cut at its regular size, which is 3.94. And I'm just going to gently lift up. I mean, it cuts absolutely perfectly. It only starts to kind of fray a little when you start to remove it from the mat. But if you were doing a plique on this, that would probably be taken up with your sewing line anyway, wouldn't it? So that's how that's cut again, just with the fabric blade on the fabric mat. 
So let's try it now. Now I've still got the heart on screen on the standard mat with another piece of fabric, which is from this same charm pack. And the reason I'm, I'm using this is, A, it's old fabric. I've not got any use for it anymore, but I know that this fabric is all from the same range and same quality and everything. So I'm hoping that it's a like for like um, comparison, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna move this fabric mat out of the way for a minute. And now this is just my regular standard, but this is my new mat that's hardly been used. So let's just peel this off. I'm gonna put it in the middle of the mat again. I'm gonna burnish it down exactly the same. So I'm trying to treat, you know, both mats and both pieces of fabric exactly the same. And as I say, this is my new standard mat, so it's hardly been used. Um, Wendy Sue is saying, ha ha, I thought heart. Vicky's saying, I have a CM, I put the extra sticky fabric sheet on the low tack mat. I would like to know if I can get the fabric blade for the CM though. I don't think you can, Vicky. I think, as far as I'm aware, the fabric blade is only for the newer machines and this fabric mat is only for the newer machines. I think they're gonna start discontinuing the CM model machines. I don't know how much longer the accessories and things will be available, but I did read somewhere that they are starting to phase out the CM models. Uh, Creative Concept Crafts is saying, have you tried the artistics mats on the SDX? No, I don't know what they are. Cherie is saying, Vicky, it is an auto blade. Yeah, it is. So the auto blades only work with the auto blade machines. Oh, it's Lynn from Spain. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'll try and remember. Um, Cherie, no, I don't have auto blade. Um, I wonder what is the difference about the fabric blade. I think it's just a designated blade. Um, you know, instead of, you know, like when we, when we on the CM machines, some people kept a specific blade for fabric and a specific blade for paper. And then they just literally swapped out the blades. I've lost you. Are we back? Just give me one minute. Yeah, we're back, okay. No, the batteries look fine. It just seemed to drop out for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, one of the batteries is plugged in anyway. And that's what I was just checking on the other one to see the battery looks okay. So let's let's push through this so that it's a Sunday, isn't it? Told you some, something always goes wrong. So let's swap over. Just gonna move this back ever so slightly. So this is the standard mat now. Where's my spatula? I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go back, do a background scan and start, and then we can cut this same, or try and cut this same heart on this standard mat and see what happens, see what result we get. So Lynn's saying I'm back now, think it was just the internet. You shouldn't have said yesterday about Sunday. <laughs> yeah, jinxed it, didn't I? So that heart is looking as though it's gonna be fine. 
Right, so just to recap, we've got the fabric laid, but we've got a standard mat and we've got the same piece of fabric as we've just cut using the fabric blade and the fabric mat. So let's see what happens. Okay, start and cut. Just going to try and move you around so you can see what happens. And remember, this is my new regular mat, so it's, you know, stickier than it would normally be. Okay, just going to flip you back. Unload this mat. And this one has cut. Not as, oh it has, hang on, not as cleanly, but it has cut. It's cut just in a couple of places. Let's just see. Just a couple of threads. There you go. So it has cut. So let's put that one there and that one there. So they've both cut on different mats but with the same blade but like I say remember that this is a brand new um, standard mat so again I don't know you know how many uses you would get from it like I say it would be interesting to see if you know somebody that does cut fabric more than me with the fabric mat how long it lasts uh, somebody saying had a power surge. Um, Janita saying we're back. Alison saying we're back. It's cutting like butter. Lynn's saying what are the artistic mats? Just curious. Never heard of them. Me neither. That's what I was thinking. So that has cut with the regular mat. Bought the fabric blade. So let's have a look at both blades now and see if there is a difference. move my in fact I need this so let's just undo this and see so we'll take this blade out I'm just going to put those on one side no it doesn't look as though it has does it I, do you know why I think because it's not as sticky and that's what I mean, this one, the brown one, cut perfectly. But when you start to remove it from the mat, because it's sticky, it pulls the fibres. The standard mat is nowhere near as sticky as the fabric mat. And therefore, when you when I removed it, it's not pulled the edges as much. It has a little bit. I don't know how well. I don't even think you're going to be able to see this if I hold it up. Just here. It has pulled it a little bit. And here where I was trying to pull the fabric away. But I think that's just purely and simply because of the stickiness of the mat. Right, so I've got... This is the standard blade. And this is the fabric blade. So let's see if we can compare. Now I can definitely see a difference. But I don't know how well you're going to see this. Hang on. I don't think you can. There's definitely a difference. The fabric blade is a lot narrower. I don't think you're going to get to see this. It's going to be fuzzy. I'm going to try and take a picture of it to show you. The regular blade is longer and it's more angular and the fabric blade is a lot thinner and the tip's different. See if we've got anything I can put it against to show you. Hang on. Let's see if this will work. This isn't going to be easy to try and hold this up. You're not going to be able to see it, are you? But there definitely is a difference. I'll um, I'll get a close up if I can. 
in a photograph to show you so I'm just going to drop that one back in there and pop this one back in here I wonder if you can see better if I hold up the it's not going to focus I'll see if I can zoom you in hang on Let's move all this. I still don't think you're going to see. There's too much. No, you're not going to be able to tell. I'll, I'll take a picture of them if I can, side by side, and then you might be able to see better, but you can't see, but there definitely is a noticeable difference. Right, let's come back out. So Cherie saying your brother distributor will be able to get them for you. Um, it's a company who manufacture mats for the brother machine, which are supposedly much stickier or keep their sticky much longer than brothers do. I've never used them, but heard a lot about them. Okay. Where would you get those mats? The standard one looks chunkier. It is, it's bigger and the point is more angular. Thank you. Can see a difference in the shadows. Yeah, no, it's not that great, but there definitely is. When you put them side by side, which I hadn't done until then, um, there definitely is a noticeable difference. So they are different blades. So it's not just a case of, you know, getting a spare blade and swapping one out and putting one for fabric and one for paper like you know some people do they are totally different blades so it worked using the fabric blade and the two different mats but as i say the fabric mat is definitely a whole lot stickier than the standard mat so i don't know how long you would get good results using a standard mat with the fabric blade so it wasn't really that conclusive I was I was thinking that one you know would cut better than the other but you know based on that no so let's just see what we're saying the fabric blade looks longer Vicky's saying thanks can't see but your description helps I need to make a trip to my brother dealer I'll, I'll try and get a decent photograph and, and post it hopefully it might show up better on a photograph if I can zoom in see what accessories are still available for the CM so Lynn is saying artistics have their own website okay so has anybody tried the artistic map does it load in the in the machines Lynn are you saying you've heard about it but you've not used it I wonder if the fabric blade <clears throat> would fit in the standard blade holder. <coughs> um, let's take them out again. I think they were a diff different length as well, weren't they? I'm going to put, I'm trying to keep these separate so I don't get them, get them mixed up. Let's put them side by side. So they're the same length, but they're definitely different ends but the other thing I've just noticed as well is that the standard blade the whole body of the blade is thicker this here this section is thicker than the fabric blade as well so they're the same length the the barrel if you like the metal barrel are different different thicknesses and the actual blades are different sizes and different widths. So there's, there's definitely a, a, a noticeable difference. Okay. So I'm not actually sure whether 
that's been any use to be honest because as I say I was thinking that the fabric would cut better with the fabric blade and the fabric mat but it cut equally as good with the fabric blade and the standard mat but again it this is definitely nowhere near as sticky so I doubt that it would you know do mass producing so Rachel's saying yes I have that mat and it's fine which mat, which mat, Rachel? The fabric mat? Or are you talking about the artistics mat? Sorry, I'm losing track now. Philip is saying use artistics a lot. They are slightly thicker, okay, than the brother and nice to use. Which machine, Philippa, are you using it with? Is it a CM model or is it any of the DX or SDX models? I believe it does. Some of my group have used them and love them. Okay. So JD Cougar say need to give a thumbs up for the video helps Ashley get noticed by YouTube. Oh, thank you. Yeah, right. So should we have a look and see if what did somebody ask for before Gingerbread Man, wasn't it? Let's come back and see what's in here. Um, I don't even know where to begin to look for one. see anything there I wonder if it's in the holiday section hang on where's the holiday section with the Christmas things no not there is it in this one here we go ah gingerbread man okay I'm just gonna cut the outline so, let's get rid of these. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to use my normal mat now because I don't want to keep putting fabric on it because it's my new mat and obviously I need to use it for paper and everything else but we'll bring the fabric mat back in grab another piece of fabric and then we'll burnish this one down and we'll see how this cuts Barbara's saying, don't think I would want some fabric moving and jamming up the rollers, etc. I would buy the correct mat. Wendy's saying, the old manual blade holder, blade base is exactly the same as the base of the fabric blade, same length, so that's a possibility. Oh, because it was the brown fabric. Yeah, I kind of thought that before, but never mind. We'll have a yellow one and see what happens. So Cherie's saying artistic mats are 10% dearer than I pay for the brother mats here in Australia. Okay, so they're dearer. Right. set this on, going to do a background scan, still with me yet. Try bending the mat, remove the fabric rather than pulling it off. Mine was cheaper than the brother mat. Okay, so we've got someone saying that they're dearer in Australia but in the UK it was cheaper. Need to put the blade in. <laughs> there you go. Cut. 
Right, so we're back on fabric blade, fabric mat, and the gingerbread man from the machine. It would be as they are locally made there. Um, cheaper in the UK and in the USA, I think. Janita saying, I love the, what you have taught us today. This is great. Let's. Oh, it's asking me next part but I'm not doing any more parts so we'll say finish and unload and then we'll take this one off and see there you go so if I try and hold this up I'm not sure you can see it does cut perfectly it's just when you come to remove it you just have to be careful and that's just the adhesive I'm sure it is you know dragging on the edge of the fabric because you can see now look the edges it's just where you're pulling it away from the adhesive but it cuts beautifully Dawn's saying Amazon sells the artistic mats. Okay. Cherie's saying I just read about bending the mat to remove fabric so that it doesn't stress it. Okay, that's what I usually do with card as well, isn't it, Cherie? But not didn't think to do it with fabric. I agree, you need a great video. Alice Wynn's saying hi everybody just tuned in. Well, hi Alice, but I think we've more or less finished now. So as I say, that was just really my little experiment to see what, what results we got and Basically, it cuts, the fabric blade cuts equally as good with both the fabric mat and the standard mat, but the standard mat isn't as sticky, so if you were going to use it for fabric, I don't think it would last as long. And then, like I say, it would be interesting to know from anybody that does more fabric, how long your fabric mat lasts you. Barbara's saying can see the sewing machine coming out now. So what do you think? Has anybody got any questions, suggestions? Just going to have a quick drink of my juice. I mean, some of the fibres come up and some of them kind of turn to mush on your mat as well. So, again, I don't know, you know. But, you know, the um, Cricut mats, they have the rotary blade, don't they? And they have a dedicated fabric mat and they say not to clean their mat because they say that the blade just cuts through the fibres if it, you know, goes over a piece of fabric with fibres underneath, they say that it, it just cuts through anyway. And to be fair, these, some of them are literally just turning into fluff. So, you know, they're that tiny. So I'm not so sure that, you know, a lot of cleaning is needed really for it. Right, let me see. So we've got Jan Jeffers saying, thanks for letting us know how the fabric mat works versus the standard mat. Thank you, Ashley, for the tonight, especially after your marathon yesterday. You're welcome. Cherie's saying you should be able to re-stick it like the regular cutting mat. Possibly. I don't know. I don't know whether it's the same adhesive or not. Definitely stickier. I know that. Alice. JD Cougar saying, Alice, where are you from? Know someone from Spokane? Creative Concepts, that's Lynn saying, thanks Ashley for the live again. Always informative and always knowledgeable. Great session, Mandy's saying. Dawn saying, I think it works pretty good. I haven't used it. I have used it a few times. Rachel saying, thanks again. Hope you have a relaxing evening. Yes, same to you, Rachel. They should be more precise about cleaning. Yeah, they definitely should. I, de I did read the instructions and they're literally just a few lines and it, I can't see that it mentions anything about cleaning other than remove any loose fibres. That's about all it says. 
some of them do come off if you try and remove them but some of them just literally turn to fluff so Philip is saying looks as though the fabric mat will take a lot of cleaning I think I'll stick with the freezer paper technique for fabric works beautifully yeah that's always an option like I say I was I was thinking that I'd, I would get you know more of a conclusive result over one mat than the other but not really to be honest I think only time would tell I think if you used if you compared the mats side by side constantly using both then you'd probably get a better idea of how they hold up but just doing you know a couple of cuts here as you, as you saw they both they both cut Alison you're welcome it's fine I did here to clean the artistic mats to use tape on the mat to remove fibers wonder if it would work with this okay so like sticky tape is that what you mean and pick the fibers off yeah it possibly would wouldn't it I don't know if I've got any hang on Try cutting a bit of this. A lint roller, yeah, I think that would be a good option. Right, let's just see if this works. I don't know if this will work or not. So this is that, um, you know, that cheap stuff that I use for transfer tape sometimes. So let's just fold this back and see if this does anything. It's picking up some, but not, not really a lot to be fair. see it's picking up bits of the fluff but I, I think the thing is I think the mat is that sticky that it's not going to be that easy to get anything off it you know even if you just put your fingers on it you literally you stick to it so maybe you don't need to clean it maybe it's like they say just remove any loose fibers that you can see and then just leave it as it is. I know that's what the Cricut mats do. They tell you not to clean their, their fabric mats. I've just got a hair on this. Let's, let me see if I can get this hair off. Let's try and get that in a bit. This is, I've got a big hair on there. Right, let's see. Uh, Caroline's got to run, that's fine. Lisa's saying thank you. Wendy's saying, oh, maybe a lint roller. Yeah, as, as I say, I'm not so sure a lint roller would do it. I think the mat's just that sticky. It literally just grabs anything that's on it. Website says, do not use water on the mat. Okay, there you go then. So that's probably why there's nothing on the... Well, you would think they'd put that on the paper, wouldn't you? As I say, I couldn't see anything other than remove the loose fibres. So they say not to wash it. Don't put it. Don't put any water on it. Okay. Right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try and get the this hair off off here. Got some of it.
Right, can't see any more comments. If you've got any last questions, if you just ask me quickly. Other than that, I'm going to go. I'm just going to swap out the blades. Put all the bits and pieces away. Yeah, I thought these were quite fine, but like I say, it's just it's, I can see it, it's just not picking it up. But again, I think it's because it's so sticky. Um, I don't want to kind of dig into the adhesive. I'll get it off. Right, yeah, thanks Ellen, thanks Dawn, thanks Wendy. Marcia, yeah, no problem, speak to you all soon. Thanks, J.D. Cougar. Cherie's saying, thanks for the demo. We've worked too hard this weekend. <laughs> no worries. Right, I'm going to go now, everybody. All right, take care. See you all soon, and I'll speak to you all soon. Thanks a lot. Bye. Oh, Vicky, I've just noticed your comment. Does the mat come with fusible for the fabric? No, not at all. It's just literally the mat with a plastic cover on, like your standard mat. Because the whole idea, I think, of this mat is that you don't need fusible. Cherie's saying, Ashley, you can use a damp rag so baby wipe will be okay. Okay. Is that what it says on the website, Cherie? I'll have to go and have a look. Would you, would you think they'd put that in the information, wouldn't they? Unless I've completely overlooked it. But looking at the sheet that I read before, I couldn't see anything about that at all. Um, yeah, bye Patty. So a damp rag we're saying is fine, so we think a baby wipe would be okay. Crystal's saying, I made your pumpkin box this morning. Oh, lovely, thank you. Cherie's saying yes. Okay, all right, I'll go and have a look. Right, 